Hi guys, Frostfangs here and welcome back once again to another Smite video. Today, I'm going to be playing Cuckoo on Clash with one hell of a team. So we got a Zing Chin and Izanami. That's not a big part. Izanami is not a big part of this. Hercules and Hades. So we've got three people that are very capable of setting stuff up for us. I mean, Izanami's two actually does well, so never mind. Scratch that first thing I said. They've got an Anher, a Thoth, a Thana, an Athena, and a Yanus. So... They've essentially got a team of super squishy people with like really crappy escapes other than Anho who's got a leap and stuff. We should do a very good job of dealing with this, hopefully. I mean, Athena, Athena can dash out of Hades all, I mean, again, we should be fine with this. Hopefully we do well. So, Cuckoo, one of my all time favorite mages, reason being he can build power like a motherfucker. I'll show you now. So the build we're rolling with is this. Build sorted, okay? It's a standard Cuckoo build. There's really only a few ways you can build Cuckoo successfully. This is his kit. I will go through it roughly because some people get a lot of things confused with it. You get power depending on how much mana you have. So if you have 100 mana, you get 5% of that. So you get like 5 power for 100 mana. As you can see right above his head on the bottom left, we have 28 power from our passive. You have your 1. It's a damage, a slow. The slow is crazy strong. Starts at 30%, ends at 50 for 3 seconds the entire time. The cost goes up. Your 2, a slow. Not a slow, sorry. I read that wrong. I also understood it wrong and explained it wrong. 2, speed increase, which makes you immune to slows for um like a second after you use it. It starts off very quickly and then slowly drops down. I'm just trying my best here to hold this lane. For some reason, their minions are a lot further ahead than ours. I don't know why that's happening. You got your three, simple damage. That's all it is. Your three is a simple damage in a circle that deals tick damage. Your ultimate, huge amount of damage in a line. Quite easy to dodge if you don't have stuff to set it up. And also, um, knocks up. So, perfect combo with a Wheelix, actually. Like, a Wheelix does a very good job of comboing with, um, with Cuckoo. We just stole that damage buff, by the way. <laughs> cool. And the reason I say that is because if you put your Tornado down, she can keep them in there with her two. Um, she can also then knock them up in there with her three. And she can pull them in there with her ult. I really like a Wheelix combo with um, Cuckoo, to be honest. We're just going to keep on damaging these guys and holding this lane. So Demonic Fuzz, love the name. Just got a kill with Zing Chin. Nice. We're going to have a really good start here. We seem to have got quite a lead already, somehow. Don't know how. Also, your, your one is multiple target. A lot of people, for some reason, thought it was single target. It's not. You can hit, I think, as many people as you want. But the most I've seen is, like, three, I think. You don't often see more than that. Love the legendary skin. Also, your character model skew, John Cuckoo. Very easily, um, very easily ganked and destroyed. So be careful. Gods can jump you and you're kind of going to get screwed. Uh, what else can I say about Cuckoo? I love this skin. Yes, the Void Worm skin is fantastic. And so is the voice back. It may not be the, the, most, the best one function-wise, but like character-wise, it's got a bunch of character. Oh, I missed by like an inch. He was so close to getting hit by that. I should probably back. So we're sacking Warlocks first, obviously, because it needs more stacks to be fully completed. And then we do, we do Book of Thor, Shoes. And then you have to make the, the decision between Obsidian Shard and Rod. And Gem. <laughs> obviously, you always get Rod, okay? You're always going to get Rod to Tahuti. But you have to decide whether you want to get Pen first or Power first or Slows. Because I like Polly. Polly's an optional item, and so is Gem. I'd say that these four, these four here, I always get. But Warlocks, Gem, and Polly, I kind of switch in and out. Polly's only for the combo of you shoot your one, you do a basic, and that basic will hit for a shit ton. Very good if you've got a lot of people that are jumping you all the time. This is Clash, so I probably won't get Polly. I'll probably get Gem of Iso because of the fact that there's five people. And I want to kind of fuck over as many people as possible. So we'll get Gem of Iso. It's also very annoying because... You get extra damage from it, but not in the way you think. Not because it gives you power or anything, but because it keeps people in your three for longer, which adds an extra tick or two, usually. Or, like, more, if they don't know what they're doing. I'm really kind of scared of this Thanatos, because I feel like at any moment he could ult me. Because I play Thanatos quite a bit, and I know Cuckoos are a pretty good target to go for, because they usually don't know how to deal with anything. But I'm being wary of this Thanato. The Thanato? Yes, Thanato. Exactly what I meant to say. No. I got beads just in case, like, I need to deny that taunt at some point, which I'm sure I will. Your three is usually enough to wave clear, but you can, of course, hit the front of the wave with your one if you need to. I'm pretty much done explaining. Chibi Hades? Yes. Just yes. Full stop. Not scared of Athena. She's not got enough mana. She actually just walked into that straight up. 
There you go. He hits for a lot. Like, we're already getting 50 power from our passive, just existing. Um, they're my favorite types of passives. The passives that you don't have to think about. This is very much one of them. Like Apollo's passive. Who else has got a passive that you don't have to think about? A Wheelix, for instance. You don't really have to think about that. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think. There's loads of gods that have great passives that you don't have to worry about. Oh, is he going for an ult here? I think he's baiting. He's clearly baiting. Yeah, there's no way he was doing that without baiting us. Oh, no. Oh, I like that denial. I like that. That was good. I think we've actually got a kill on him there. Oh, no, he healed. We still pretty much got him, though. Okay. So, I didn't hear him ulting in because I don't have my left earbud in, which I probably should put in. I'm going to put it in now because it's a bug with Cuckoo, and it's, um, it's also a bug with a few other gods, clearly, where... Instead of it, like, being slightly audible in the right ear and more audible in the left ear, like I think it should be, it's, like, completely just not played in the left ear. Like, if I use my three, if you... Okay, I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do a practice with you. Take your left earbud out or remove your left headphone. If you're on a speaker, this won't work, like, on your phone or something. But look at that. If I take... It's completely gone on the right side. Until you look at it, then it's there, and that's completely gone on the left side. I don't really like that. I like the fact that it's doing the stereo imaging and stuff, but... The way it does it is kind of annoying because it makes it really difficult for me to play with one earbud in. And it actually functioned properly. It's quite fun. Well done. Like, it's a good thing, but it has negative side effects. And I appreciate it if, like, when something goes all the way to the right, I can still hear it a little bit in my left ear. Because I, I suppose that's even more realistic, so... Well, it's also probably a lot more work. I don't know. I'm not a game designer. I just found that little thing when I have my right earbud in that I lose a lot of stuff that's going on on the left. Which, obviously, I would, but I didn't expect to lose everything that's going on. Can we hit the Yannis? No. I was trying to get the, um, the Anher there, but that didn't work. Oh, my wand didn't go off. Shit. Would he be dead right now? Maybe. No! Get him! Kick his ass! Yes, basic attack kills are the best kills. Izanami's just on the side doing her own thing. Oh, I really do need Gem of Iso right now. I feel like I do, at least. His wand also doesn't go through walls, by the way. Just, just in case you, for some reason, thought it did, it doesn't. So don't try and get your wand through walls. You'd have probably learned that from a minute of playing him, though, but still. There we go. That wave's gone. Let's level the three again. Sorted. Oh, I like the fact that he's already got Pythagrams. Who picked up Pythagrams? Epifam? Who's Ep Epiphanes? Oh, Hades went for that start. Cool. Lifesteal starts are good starts. That, like, that's helping me a lot. I'm glad he decided to go for that. I don't know if he did that with me in mind, but if he did, thank you to the guy who's going for... um. Freaking Pythagoras piece. Hell yeah. So now we're double stacking. I wouldn't usually recommend it. I would, as I said, that's an optional item. I'm going to do it in Clash because I'm, yeah, I'm, I was like pretty certain that nobody else is going to be stacking. Maybe just one and it is just one, so that's fine. We're going like all out right here for like just trying to kick as much ass as we can. And it's working for us because we are three kills ahead and we are just dealing bunches of damage. Is bunches a word? I don't think bunches is a word. It's having a revelation mid-YouTube video. The word bunches. I, I feel like it is, but it sounds weird when I say it, so I'm not sure. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we had you sorted. Really? That's annoying. A lot of you guys were saying that it, it like uses mana when you cancel it. It doesn't, by the way. That's a, that's a, For some reason, I don't know how that even came about, but that's a misconception. It, there's, no, there's no downside to doing that, what he's doing right now. Oh, I thought you were going left. I didn't think you were going to go right. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. I thought he was going to go left. That was that would have been the sensible thing to do if he wasn't going to portal out, which I wasn't, as I said, expecting the guy to do it. Oh, he's dead. He's got to be dead, right? Yes. That's the tactic. Slow people in and then just tornado the fuck out of them. It works and it's glorious. There you go. Just going to keep beating these guys down. The animations on Cuckoo look on point. I really do like the animations. He's kicking ass. He's 2-0 with Zing Chin. Cool. I'm going to pop that down. She wasn't expecting me to go through her, was she? Not at all. And the wave's gone before it even gets to the actual lane. It's dead in tower. Cool. And we got rid of both of her little absorption things and the third one. Can you get a little bit closer? We got their left tower already. This is probably going to be a surrender match at this point. That's what it looks like so far. She's, she's, she's dead. She's just dead. I love this game. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing well. 
especially when I'm doing well. Let's put that down. Oh, we can clear so easily. It's beautiful. Let's back. Let's just back. I, I don't need to be here anymore. Also, that's the SWC recall thing. I think I showed it in the last video, but just in case I didn't, there it is. I might... Oh, I kind of want to skip boots and go obsidian shard, but I know it's the wrong thing. Let's let's not do that then. Here we go. Three and one. I'll take it. We don't actually need to use our three now to clear stuff. We could probably get away with just doing that. Yeah. Okay, I missed the left guy, though. No! No! You took my XP camp! No! Janus, why? Why did you do this to me? Oh, that's my phone going off. Freaking Janus, man. Taking my goddamn buffs. Did we even hit anyone with that? No. We missed everyone. How did I miss everyone with that? I thought I would get at, I thought I was gonna get at least one person, like a stray enemy. Apparently not. 72 a tick? Nice. Oh, 408 on that. He's dead. We're gonna kill him with basics. Oh, I missed. I missed. We would have killed him with basics if I didn't miss. I'm not I'm not really bothered that she got the kill. She's a hunt she's a hunter, she's meant to. That was a free one. That was just a freebie. There we go. Wave's gone. Uh, I don't know how comfortable I feel being near the Thanatos. Very comfortable. Yes, very comfortable indeed. Fuck. Ah, it doesn't even deal that much. Oh, really? It hit me an extra time? I didn't think it was going to hit me another one. Okay. Ten minutes. We're already done with Phoenixes. Cool. We'll plop that three down. Done. I can just leave now. Oh, there's one minion? Okay, I thought there was one minion left. There isn't. Gold Fury. I've got a lot of gold to spend. We're going to go Obsidian Shard, probably. I don't think I'm going to go Rod straight away. I think we'll get Pen. I don't know if I need it, though. Like, the only person with protections right now is the Athena? Oh, I don't know whether to get Pen or not. We'll just do it. We'll just do it. We'll just do it. Don't think about it. Just go for the Pen. I, I, I want to be a power whore, but at the same time, it's not the right thing to do. It's the right thing to go for Pen right now. Ah. <sighs> Because you can easily get to a thousand power on Cuckoo if you're going for just the highest number. But it makes more sense to go for pen and stuff and be sensible. So I'm going to do that for the sake of the video. We're already getting more than a hundred power from our passive and we're not even fully stacked or fully leveled. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to get Gem of Iso as well. I don't think I'll get Polly. I don't really feel like I need it. I feel like Gem of Iso is going to be much more useful. And then maybe later on we'll sell it for something. We'll sell boots maybe if we need to. You, if you don't go boots, you can easily get a thousand power without potions. For sure. Oh, that was that was dumb of me. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I thought I was gonna knock them all up, and then I was gonna be able to um, just hit a one on them, but I missed the Athena, which sucks because or else I would have killed that Thanatos without an issue. I could have easily just wand him in the air, and he'd have been a dead man. But sadly, sadly, it didn't end up like that, huh? Fire joint, and I'm the only person that's dead. We're dominating them. We really are. That Thantos is not going to be able to get to the to the Hades. Okay. Why am I spectating the guy that's doing nothing? Let me spectate somebody else. I'm pretty leveled. I'm the most leveled as well as he's an army. Oh, he just... That was possibly the most badass way you could dodge a Yan Assault. Just step to the side and then watch it go past you. That's badass. Wow, okay. At least he didn't get ruined. He's an army 6 and 0. Jeez. We're doing really well. I'm doing alright. I'm not doing perfect. I'm 5 and 2. That's not perfect. But he's an army is. She's 6 and 0. That's fantastic. Let's go in. These are free kills. These are just free kills. Holy shit. She picked those up without an issue. I didn't even get there. She's now 9 and 0. Fucking wow. This Izanami is the fucking real MVP. It isn't me anymore. Five and two, hell no. I'm just, I'm just second up. I'm just second up. It's the Izanami who's the, who's the, the, the queen. Yes, the queen here. Can we ult through wall? No, I don't think we can. I don't think I can really do anything here. Oh, is he dead? No, he's not in it. See, if you don't have somebody to CC them, they can see where it's gonna go, which just makes it really easy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Janus. Or not. Or not. Can we get anybody in that three? No. It's good for blocking off areas. Like, we pretty much blocked off the entire middle part of that lane then with just that three, which is cool. Oh, I'm going to have to stick back. Cuckoo's not meant to be played as a frontliner, so it makes sense. Are we going to get three people in that? Yes. Look at all those numbers. All the numbers. He just said doobie. Do be careful. Yes. You see... 
a sanctuary. I don't even have a sanctuary up now, but a sanctuary when he cancels it. And then when he doesn't bait me, I die. Probs to him for fucking me over, but still. Damn. Let's get Rod. There we go. What's going on? Let's 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 just spectate Heebie Chibi Hades. Oh no! That three would have got him. He beats too late. He beats too late. The Thanos had already healed. That's a shame. That's a free kill though on that 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 Yanis. Oh, he's an army's coming behind. He's not he's an army. Where you at? There you go. She's gonna pick up kills here for days. She's got like three given. Oh yes. It's just cleaning up. She's just cleaning up. Gotta give a round of applause for this user army. Holy shit. She's 12 and 0 and she's just 13. Can she go get Penta? Please say this woman can go get a Penta. Let her claim what is hers. Oh no, she's inside the spawn. I think it's too late now. He just went in and pulled her out. I gotta give points. It's too late. Oh, unofficial Penta. Unofficial Penta. Like, I gotta give props to my man Zing Chin as well, because he pulled the actual Athena out of spawn. He took some fucking fountain damage for it. I need to play that god, Jesus. Izanami's not usually that overpowered. She's usually not that... No, I wouldn't even say overpowered. I don't like that word. But, um... Izanami's not usually that good. But in the right hands, she is disgusting. Like, 14 and 0. She's she's the winner of this match. Like I did okay. I did decent. I fucked up a few times, but I did overall pretty good. The Izanami was just above everyone that game. I don't know how, but she just was. That is way louder than everything else coming through my headphones. Why was that so loud? Jesus. So wait, we had we had Rampage, so we got all five of our kills in one life at some point. I don't know when that was. And there you go. Player damage-wise, she did have double everyone. So this is how it works. Player damage, I had double everyone, and then she had double me. <laughs> His sound effects are so loud. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's so loud. Why are they so loud? So we had most player damage other than Izanami and Yanis by like a little bit. But other than that, she pretty much just doubled- she doubled everyone. She doubled everyone. And she deserves to have the KD ratio she has. And she pretty much won us that game. So, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section down below. I feel bad for Sleekwee for her unofficial penta. Kinda sucks. I'll see you guys all very soon if the, the cuckoo voice doesn't, you know, keep talking over me. <laughs> and as always, stay frosty.